Hi there, sign of cancer. This is Kim here to do a reading for you guys. It's going to be for your next 48 hours. I am using the zombie tarot today. I'm going to clarify with light Sears tarot. So let's get into your next 48 hours. Thanks so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, asking that your spirit guides and your angels join us so that we get messages that's for your most high, always for your greater good. <clears throat> Messages for the sign of cancer. See what we have going on for the sign of cancer. Okay. Bottom of the deck, the Ten of Hazards. Ten of Pentacles. In other words, um, you're getting like you're everything here. I hope this is a really good reading for you. It feels like it might be. Um, the Ten of Hazards is everything. It's your Ten of Pentacles. It's the um, the material success. It's the emotional success. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> you're also thinking a lot about the past and maybe people from your past with the Six of Cups. So he's calling in soulmate energy, even though I've got the, the Hierophant as reverse, the world in reverse, the three of cups in the reverse, the knight of hazards in reverse, ace of wands in reverse, strength in reverse. Why is everything in reverse? And the seven of cups. What in the world? What in the world here? Okay, so what in the world? <sighs> I have you really not wanting to fight or play any games. You may have broken off a uh, commitment um, with the Hierophant. Look, it's a possibility that you want your Ten of Cups or your Ten of uh, Pentacles, sorry, but that we're just seeing something really unclear, fuzzy. Cause there's something here and I, it's well, we're gonna, we're gonna get clarifying to find out but it feels like you're dealing with something from the past that has to complete and it's just not completed like there there needs to be a milestone met even in the ending of something that it will be a milestone met you hear what i'm saying what's the um hierophant here um about give us more energy for the hierophant in reverse because i have the four of wands is you know, normally it could be like a celebration or any kind of milestone. There's new, um, new passionate beginnings wanting to come in for you with the Ace of Wands. And that's what it's about. There's possibly a marriage or soulmate energy. Maybe somebody that you really haven't ever met that's going to be a big part of your past. <laughs> that will be a part. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um. <sighs> So we're feeling, uh, underneath it all, we're really feeling like this is a good connection. There's something that we're ending. We're possibly ending something because somebody didn't pull through for us. Or maybe we feel like we let somebody down. Um, and maybe it's a third party situation. Or it could be like vicious gossip and things like that. Why do we feel like we've disappointed someone or let someone down with the Knight of Hazards in reverse? And then you see it's this guy who's like drove his car into a, um, a light. So why do we feel like we've let somebody down? Why do we feel that way? Empress energy. Cancer, we're thinking of Empress energy, motherly energy. Feeling like we let somebody down. There could be a um, there could be a lot of mother healing like here for you at this time. You could feel like you've let your mother down, or this could be about it's something good though. It's something really good. I don't I don't think you're seeing clearly enough because I don't think you should feel bad, and I don't think you should place this judgment on yourself. I think you need to let go of any standards or expectations and see those as limitations. Anybody's opinion 
that just doesn't jive with how you live your life or live your truth. Let go of the need for things to be a certain way. Accept what is. You'll find the peace there. Especially when you have this, this ability to forgive and let go. Because something's just too... Um, something's stopping a commitment from moving forward. And there's issues here. There's there's family healing. There's issues with somebody that's that's quitting. That's quitting their persistence. Like they were trying, they're quitting. Why are they quitting? I don't know. I don't know if this is you or th this might be um, a big announcement. It could be a pregnancy announcement. It could be something that was unintended. So now we've got some family issues to work out. Why is the world in reverse? There's the three again. So you're carrying with you this pain from something that we can't control. It's like a third party situation or more than one person involved here. I feel like there might be some really hurtful gossip a bunch of unknowns, but the one thing that is known is to surrender with this King of Swords in the reverse. Surrender any kind of power issues that you have with anybody. Um, process this Three of Swords energy when we surrender and we let go of having to control a cycle, then another one can begin. Then a new one can begin because then we allow for any possibility. And then you end up getting a completion in the end. So three and three and three. Three, 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 we have um, really strong, strong Empress energy. You have the ability to turn whatever you want into something great. Let's take a look at the past. And before I just keep moving forward without touching here, five of ones in the reverse. This is my everyone's got an opinion. Everyone's got an opinion. Okay. Okay. Knight of Pentacles in reverse there, too. Might be about a Virgo. A need to do something different. This person, who, if this is you that's represented by the Knight of Hazards, is somebody who, who needs to do something a little bit different this next time around. There is a new adventure. There is something new. And there's another chance to really prove how dependable honest and how you can live in your integrity and that's exactly what's going to happen so oh wrong deck i'm not worried about this not worried about this at all i think this is in the past the only thing that worries me at all is that your inability to see something clearly because of pulling this energy it's from the past from either the way that people expected someone to act or you to act like, they have these expectations. They expect somebody's going to mess up. Uh, but turning this completely around, don't take that with you. That's their limiting beliefs, not yours. Watch out for over overindulgence. Your challenge is to wrap something up here. I'll be honest. You have the Seven of Cups, which could be, I mean, that could be like um, some kind of influence making the mind not think very well. Or it can be that you could just have so many options. There is a problem with being overconfident with this clouded behavior. Three of Cups. What is this? The Knight of Wands. Somebody from your past. Maybe somebody even that you thought was undependable or that you, or maybe this is you going after something. It's going to move forward quickly and we're moving into a state of grace and forgiveness and we're not carrying any action from the past with us. And that's, that's good. That's kind of what I wanted to see. Um, moving forward. This could actually be like you're moving. Sp some people could be splitting up. And they're moving. You know what I mean? Somebody's moving. And that could be the issue with the commitment in reverse is everybody's going their own way. Because it does have a bride and uh, a zombie bride and it's in the reverse. So, I don't know. It feels like somebody else is coming back in from the past 
for you in the future and they really want to they want to have this ten of pentacles with you hmm and this is that person from the past this is what it's represented by and it's it feels like it's in the environment there may be an issue with holding on to what this person did in the past though that's keeping us from uh, having anything much better two of swords queen of wands in the reverse somebody that um so this is about a decision of possibly a split that took a really long time or that is still taking a long time to happen because of not being brave enough or assertive enough we have the tower in reverse so something that fell in the past and it's a rebuilding of that you've put all that you can into the situation so it's time to kind of move on from something the chariot is here to tell you you will have success you will have victory this is on your way to victory because the sun is guiding you you're you can see clearly here now okay so you have many many choices many options because you're choosing to live in the light with what you do the things that didn't work that you were burned out on the old ways of doing things that's in the past. I feel like the Two of Swords is almost representing procrastination and a decision that if you just decide to move forward, you're going to go towards this loving light energy where everything's really successful here. We have Leo, Cancer, possibly Aries, Scorpio. What is the strength in reverse? What is that card about? Sometimes can be a card of overconfidence or not enough. I mean, it's it's either it's it's something that's dysfunctional with the strength, with strength or confidence. Or maybe fearing a Leo coming back. It could be about travel. Ten of cups, but there's the something missing. Might be your Leo. Might be a Leo to you. The something missing. It's the something missing card. It's the Ten of Cups in the reverse. So the money is really good. There's just something emotional that might be missing. And there is an, a big plea to let's do something a different way this time so that we have a different outcome. Star on the bottom. Seven of Cups. What are these choices? What are these choices? The Queen of Cups. The choice to love yourself and move forward in that in that energy of self-love, care, compassion, healing, hands up, ready to receive um, your testimony, uh, taking good care of yourself. Cancerian energy, possibly Scorpio energy. You just have many choices available to you. All of them will be positive if they're down the self-love, self-care aisle. <laughs> and look, good news coming in. At the end of the day, good news coming in. So let's pull from the angel oracle, or what is this? The angel reading cards. Angel of happiness. Do you see this? Playfulness, happiness, something brand new is about to begin for you guys. You're going to have a lot of options. Make sure you keep that self-care as a number one. And your angel of happiness is here with your angel saying you will return to a state of happiness. Watch out with procrastination. Angel of procrastination there. And I am going to pull some of these. The Real Talk deck. Soundtrack. Every hero needs the theme music and you are no exception. What are you constantly listening to or telling yourself? Ensure that the soundtrack of your life is filled with affirmations, positivity, and motivation. That's the truth. And individuality. Freedom of expression is a gift that makes you you. Always feel comfortable expressing your individ individuality regardless of what others think. Your style, beliefs, interests create a unique picture to share with the world. And that is right. And your happiness is here for you. Yay. Sending you love and light, Cancer. Bye, guys.